coming through <laughs> Your burdens get so heavy You don't know what to do But I've been sent on assignment To encourage you You can't give up now You have so much to do well, Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. He is risen. We welcome you this morning to Resurrection Sunday. Yes, 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 yes. We are giving God praise. We are excited about our risen Savior. Amen. Here at 170 Adelphi Street, Institutional International Ministries. Yes. A.K.A. I, I am where we watch God work. We are located once again at 170 Adelphi Street, where our pastor is Pastor Alex. Uh, we have Pastor T. Ann Williams, yes, our overseer Williams. Yes, yes, overseer Williams. 
I'm excited. I'm more than excited. This is a Resurrection Sunday. People may identify it as Easter Sunday. But however you recognize it, you know that the Lord is here. Amen. He's here every day. But most importantly, if you're able to make it your way to 170 Adelphi, please. If you can, we are here. The sanctuary is open. And if you're online, like, click, and share. This Amen. is a day that everybody normally comes to service. So you want to make sure that you're also being an evangelist online and sharing this with families here in the United States or even internationally because we are international reaching ministry. So we have some announcements to let you all know. We have started our tribe groups. If you all were at Thing on the last last week Amen. we had multiple exciting conversations and we're really really glad if you haven't signed up for a tribe group please see brother Desmond in the back you can also inbox us on our social media sites so that you can get connected and know when the next session is it's 12 it's six weeks Amen. sessions it's for the spring so if you want to get in, in spring you can also join but if you want to do it the fall you can do that too I just want to say, you look very nice today. Thank you. I try to coordinate with you, Corey. You know. <laughs> I, I, I try my best to try to match his swag. We, so. we, we're, we're bright. <laughs> we're we're kind of bright up here. Because Jesus is risen and he Jesus said, let there is, be light. Let there be light. I caught that last Sunday. Yeah, yes, he did. <laughs> so I'm going to keep it shining. <laughs> um, I'm now just looking out in, in the sanctuary. Everyone looks so wonderful. Beautiful. And everyone. we're happy that you all pressed your way. Yes. You made it to Sunday morning worship. Can you all just clap your hands for yes. Jesus? Can you clap clap your hands for Jesus? For he is our risen Savior. He sits high on the throne. Yes. He has all glory, power, and might. Authority in his hands and love he's the king of glory he's the prince of peace Keeper. he's the risen savior yes. he's the lamb of god oh my god that's that's who he what is he to you can you can you tell us online yes what god is to you who jesus is to you i know he's my savior my keeper he's my provider he is everything beyond my ever wants or ask so, so i can good. say that Ooh, He's so give good. Me chills. He's on. so good. Come so on. we want to welcome. Let's yes. see who's online. I see my auntie Connie. Come on, auntie. From Crown auntie Heights, consistent. Brooklyn, is watching. I love you, auntie. Yes, auntie. Thank you for watching. <laughs> we have Sister Shamika Lewis watching. Come on, Shamika. We have. Who is this? Big Brooklyn, the boss. Come on now. All right, Big Brooklyn, the boss. If you're in Brooklyn, we see you. <laughs> you need to come to 170. We see. We have Missionary Sabita, who's in house. Come on. As well as online Double watching. Double the blessings. So once again, I'm going to ask that you all share. Pick, take your phones out right now. now. If you have a in cell Jesus phone, name. take it out and just tag. Whoever you feel in your heart that needs to hear this word. We have had a great Friday, a good Friday. Oh, my God. And it's running on through, so we want to make sure if you didn't get the chance to come to Good Friday service. Ooh. Can, can, can we talk about Friday, Come though? on, can we talk about Friday? I mean, Do we have time to talk about Friday? Because, you know, we can talk. We, we can talk. We can talk. <laughs> we can talk. <laughs> Friday was long, too, but it, you know what? <laughs> it was good. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you. I remember when I used to be outside. I was outside longer than that. Mm. So if I'm going to be in the house of the now. Lord, I might as well give him my time. I'd rather run into a new day okay? with my risen king. But but the, the preacher was, he was amazing. Everything. He was he I, was I amazing. sent that word to a celebrity because they had said something that hurt yeah. on my heart. And I saw that and I was like, no, you got to remember, keep your eyes focused. So when your, your assignment might focused. bite you. That was what it was. When your assignment bites you. Yeah. You gotta change your focus. So listen, if you are able to look at that sermon on Friday, I really, really implore you, please do it. Because it blessed my soul. It blessed the whole sanctuary soul. And I ask if it's blessed yours, share it with someone as well. Go back and watch it. Go Re back. Remember the combined choir? Woo! Come on now. Woo! And our choir is singing again today. Give it up for the uh -huh. choir. Brother, Come brother on. Caleb's mother brother came Des up and brother Dion. she tore that song. Listen, uh, I was standing right next to him. And I was like, have your way, sis. Have your way. Woo, Let the woo, Lord use you. Use that, you well. <laughs> it, was, it was good. So once again, it's Resurrection Sunday. Yes. We do have Sunday school going on. 
yours truly is the teacher. Come on. Sunday is not about Easter basket and eggs that give you gas, but we are going to be teaching. <laughs> you know what eggs do it to you. Uh, we're going to be teaching about Jesus we are still in and that church, he's risen. We're, we're going to be church. making baskets and having a good time with our children. We got some treats and everything But most for importantly, everyone. the young people will also receive the word. That's right. That's right. Because it's got to be planted in our young people early. Bring your children Plant to church. Plant that seed early however you can. So please, if you have a young person, even if a young person is not in there, you know, early, you know, five, six, seven, we want some teens as well. So please bring them when you can. So we're now going to give you over to our master of music, Amen. our minister of music. Come on now, I'm anointing. <laughs> Brother Dion. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Did anybody enter into these gates with a praise this morning? Can you jump up on your feet? Come on. He rose for us today. Come on. We're reminded of his sacrifice this morning and what he's done for us on Calvary. Can you stand up on your feet and begin to reverence the Lord? Come on. Can you jump up on your feet and begin to clap your hands? Come on, everybody. Clap your hands. Sometimes we got to get ourselves in alignment and remind ourselves of what he's done on Calvary. Can you take a moment and just remember what you've done in the past and, and who you've been before and remember where God has brought you to today? Can you lift up your hands and shout hallelujah to the Lord? And can you clap your hands for the Bible says clap your hands all ye people and shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Father, we honor you this morning. Father, we give you the fruit of our lips because you are worthy of it. Father, we thank you for doing the ultimate sacrifice and laying your life down for your, your children. Father, we thank you, God, because if it wasn't for you, we would have been consumed. We would have been trapped in the hands of the enemy, God. But because you defeated death, hell, and the grave, because you snatched the key back, Father, we have the victory. We have life and life more abundantly in you. I'm just looking for a witness in this atmosphere that will shout to the Lord and say, Jesus, thank you for what you've done. Jesus, thank you for your sacrifice. Jesus, thank you for laying your life down. Thank you for seeing me in my issues and seeing me in my flaws and still laying your life down. Thank you for seeing how unworthy I am and how unclean I am and how filthy I am, like filthy rags, Father, but you saw me in my fullness you saw me in the image of you and you brought me into your marvelous light is somebody grateful this morning that's all right for me but I'm, I'm talking about Jesus Christ I'm talking about Je the one that was pierced in his hands the one that was pierced in his feet come on Jesus we're talking about Jesus the lover of our soul the keeper of our minds I don't know what you dealt with on your way to church this morning but I'm telling you to leave it leave it leave it and I'm telling you to get your mind into Jesus this morning get your mind into Jesus forget about yourself and concentrate on him and worship him I said forget about yourself I said forget about yourself and concentrate on Jesus I won't sing a song if it's not worthy enough for you. I won't sing a song if it's not worthy for you. I won't sing a song if it's just sounds and, and clinging symbols, Jesus. But Father, I will remember the sacrifice you made. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Come on, people of God, can you worship with me? Come on, praise team. Open up your mouth and bless the name of Jesus. Don't wait, it's not a feeling. I promise you, it's not a feeling. It's not a feeling, but it's an assurance. It's an assurance, it's a remembrance. Come on, open up your mouth and remember Jesus. I said remember Jesus, because when everybody else forgot about you, Jesus remembered you that's all right you're looking at me you're looking at me but you're not worshiping the lord 
hallelujah Jesus we honor you today for you made the ultimate sacrifice can you just say hallelujah to the lamb can you say hallelujah to the lamb hallelujah, hallelujah to the lamb there is no God like Jehovah there's no God like Jehovah Jesus Jesus yeah 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 let the worship rise come on let the sound of God's people rise in this place hallelujah somebody shout Jesus Jesus Jesus, Jesus. hallelujah come on, come on come on we give you glory yes Lord Hallelujah. Come on, everybody clap those hands. Come on, come on, just the drum. Everybody, everybody clap those hands. Come on, come on, come on, and shout Jesus where you are, Jesus. Everybody, everybody, everybody clap those hands. Come on, with the victory. We got the victory. We got the victory. Come on, bring it in. Everybody, everybody clap those hands. Come on. One more time, one more time. Come on, come on. Come on, we want faith to rise this morning. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. There we go. There we go. Come on, right here. Yes, Lord. Water you turned into wine. You know it. Come on, say, open the eye. Yes, Lord. None like you. I hear your church. Y'all say, into the darkness you shine. Into the darkness you shine. Yeah. You turn into wine. Water, you turn into wine. I hear your institutional. Come on, say, open the eyes open of the blind. The of the blind. There's no one like no you. One like you. Can I get a little bit more? There's none, none like you. Like Come on, y'all, let's go. Come on. Our God is greater than. Our God is greater. Yes, Lord, our God. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher. Awesome in power.
wash away my sins. What can make me whole again? What can make me whole again? What can put me back together again? What can wash away my sins? What can make me whole? Nothing but the blood. Nothing but the blood. What can wash away my sins? What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood. Nothing. Oh, precious is that flow that be white as snow. I know nothing but the blood of oh, we're crying. Oh, is that for you? No other God I know. Nothing but the blood. Oh, my we're crying.
voices lift up your voice I don't want to shout for you but lift up your voice when you shout when you shout when you shout everything everything that the enemy tried to take from you the Lord is sending it back but will you shout to the Lord shout to the Lord nothing but the blood of Jesus even when I'm tired I speak the blood even when I don't feel like it I speak the blood of Jesus even when the doctor may say one thing I speak the blood of Jesus do I have a witness lift up your voice and shout Jesus Jesus we pour out our love on you we break open our alabaster box come on like the woman with the issue of blood we just want to touch the hem of your garment like the woman at the well we want to experience the presence of your glory shout to the lord shout to the lord of living water rivers of worship rivers of praise rivers come on rivers of desperation before him lift up your voices you may not forgive you for but there's no guilt in the presence of the Lord for the father wants us to come boldly to his throne so father in spite of our iniquity in spite of our transgressions in spite of our sins 
did it just for us. You did it just for us. The enemy thought he would have his way with us, Jesus. But when you called our name, we ran out of that grave. We ran out of that grave of depression. We ran out of that grave of, of sinful nature, God. We ran out of that grave. And now we can have life in you. We can have joy. We can have the victory in you, Jesus. There is no bondage in Jesus Christ. Because whom the sun sets free is surely free indeed. Now lift up your voices and on the side. lift up your voice I said lift up your voice I said lift up your voice the voice of the delivered the voice of one who's been set free the voice of one who's been healed lift up your voice come on it's your breath in my lungs so we pour out our praise Come on, he's put breath in your lungs. I dare somebody to lift up your worship, lift up your shout, lift up the, yeah, my mama, I said lift up your shout. I need you to lift up your voice. Forget about yourself this morning. Forget about what you walk in with this morning. But come on, let the glory of the Lord rise among you. Some of you have been facing hell all week. Some of you have been going through all month. But I promise you, as you open up your mouth, there's an exchange. As you open up your mouth, as you give him glory, some of y'all are still looking at me. I dare you to close your eyes. Lift up your hands and worship him. No music. Come on, lift up your voice, Zion. Come on. Come on, Zion, cry out to him. Come on, Zion, cry out to him. Don't hide behind the music. The same power that woke Jesus from the grave, it now lives in you. The same Holy Spirit that resurrected him from the grave now lifted you, so depression got to be lifted. Anxiety got to be lifted. Mental warfare got to be lifted. Psycho psychosis has to be lifted. Anxiety has to be lifted. Come on. Open your mouth, Zion. Frustration got to be lifted. Frustration. Yes, so worry. It's got to be lifted. I dare you. Come on. Come on. I dare you, Zion. There's an exchange in worship. As you offer him, he begins to fill you up. So open up your mouth. He that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. Filled. Come on, Zion, ask him to fill you, fill you, fill you, fill you. Fire of the Holy Ghost, fire of the Holy Ghost, fire of the Holy Ghost, fire of the Holy Ghost. Somebody just shout, I need my intercessors just to shout fresh fire, fire fall upon your people, fresh fire. Jesus is real. I said Jesus is real. So we serve the risen Savior. I promise you, you thought you came for a service and you would have, you're about to run into a breakthrough. Uh, you know, but I need everybody under the sound of my voice prophetically begin to clap your hands. Everybody clap your, everybody in this building begin to, I said, command your hands. I said, command your body. Then I'm, command your voice. Now, you're about, you're about, begin to clap your hands in this place as you clap your hands. You are serving notice to the devil that you've been dead for three days. Some of your dreams are dead. Your vision is dead. I said clap your hands. Your ministry seems like it's dead. But the same power 
that got Jesus from the grave is about to raise your vision it's about to raise your ministry it's about to raise your assignment it's about to raise your it's about to raise your confidence on the count of three I need everybody just to shout glory I feel like the glory of the Lord that about is about to dump in this place but you got to release a worship what shall I render what shall I offer what shall I sacrifice I give it unto you when I count three shout glory to welcome the presence of the Lord in your midst come on one two three shout glory glory in your family glory in your business glory in your finances glory in your mind glory in your body just grab your neighbor's hand and just shout glory everything attached to me glory my children glory glory my future my destiny come on there's something there's a glory that's releasing in this place there's a glory that's releasing in this place it's not in your emotions but the power of the Lord wants to visit he wants to dwell but you gotta welcome him then to give me more of my monitors please he wants to do something new in you but you gotta give him what's to his name there's fresh revival there's fresh fire there's a fresh wind can these dry bones live? Can these dry bones live? Can these dry bones live? You gotta speak to the dry bones. The Bible tells us in the book of Ezekiel the prophet is taken to a valley of dry bones and God asked Ezekiel these dry bones these dead bones can they live for the Quran Ezekiel is confused because if he's God shouldn't he know whether these dry bones can live or not but this is the instruction that God gives Ezekiel he says, I'm not going to speak, but I need you to speak. I need you to tell these dry bones to come alive. And some of y'all have been waiting for somebody to lay hands on you. You've been waiting for a prophecy. You've been waiting for a word, but this is your word. God is saying you speak. The Bible says that the power of life and death is in your tongue and your mouth can wake up things that the enemy tried to destroy your mouth can wake up a confidence that has been hindered your 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 mouth can can raise up an anointing can raise gift that vision yet my my mental share so so many times we come to church waiting for the pastor or the worship leader to pump you and pry you into a breakthrough but I came to tell you that it's in your mouth I said it's in your mouth so what I'm this is what I'm gonna do we're gonna be very intentional prophetically I'm gonna give you a minute and when I give you a minute I need you to go for broke and I need you to command everything that God spoke yeah over your life everything that you know that God has put in your hands I need you to call it to be there so the Bible says to call those things that be not as though they were so I need every believer in this place get on my mind get on my some of y'all been looking you've been spectating but close your eyes get up, this is between you and God He's given you the power and the authority. So I need you to open up your mouth. Tell my mouth when I count to three. I need you to open up your mouth. Whether it's finances, whether it's healing, whether it's deliverance, whether it's assignment, whether it's an answer, whether it's clarity. 
it's yours because you said so one two three go 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 we pray right now come on come on begin to pray right now come on church come on lift up your voice come on church raise your increase miracle signs and wonders everything around me bless come on come on y'all get my, my mind healed my, my, my heart healed yeah come on you got 30 seconds go you got 30 seconds come on obey me in the prophetic come on go 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 there's some homes that God is releasing there's some opportunities that God is releasing there's some open doors that God is releasing go get it go get it Go receive it. Go receive it. It's yours for the asking. 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 Come on, come on, come on. Now do me a favor. We believe that it's so. Give them a praise right there. Come on, shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Yay. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Breakthrough, healing, and deliverance. Breakthrough, increase. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. Shift my future. Shift my future. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. Fill me up, Lord. Fill me up, Lord. Fill me up, Lord. Fill me up, Lord. Overflow, Lord. Overflow, Lord. Overflow, Lord. Overflow, Lord. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Consume Jesus. Everybody lift your hands in this place. Spirit of the living God, we speak over this atmosphere. That we will not leave here empty-handed. But I prophesy and I speak over this atmosphere to every head hand lifted. I prophesy to your life. I prophesy to your future. I prophet I, I prophesy increase. I prophesy. Answered prayers. I prophesy. Exceeding abundantly above what you can ask or think. And I pray and I speak to every secret petition. Yeah the petitions you don't tell nobody I prophesy that every secret petition the things that you cry about at night I pray a release I pray a release I speak a release that everything that's been held up everything that's been held up you shall have in your hands I need everybody just to hold out your hands you know, Baba, that everything that the locust, everything that the canker worm, everything that the caterpillar stole, God is putting it back in your hands. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus, we pray. Now do me a favor, respond with your praise. Come on. I said respond. I said respond. I said respond. I said respond. Respond, respond, respond. Come on, lift it up to Jesus. Lift it up to Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Welcome to IIM Church. 
where I believe that you're going to get everything. Somebody shout, I'm going to get everything that God has for me. Turn these lights on. I want to greet you and welcome you. This is what I need you to do. This is what I want you to do. Some of you have been through some things you shouldn't survive from. But God allows you to see this day. Oh, Lou, for such a time as this. Listen, as you're standing. As you're standing. Somebody one more time shout everything, everything. I'm getting everything. I'm not leaving anything on the table, but I'm getting my joy back. I'm getting my peace back. My business is blessed. My family is blessed. Everything. My mind is whole. Everything. My heart is mended. My marriage is, come on, my marriage is healthy. My children are prospering. Everything. Listen. I need you to go to five, three to five people and just introduce yourself. And after you introduce yourself, just tell them we're getting everything that God has for us. Come on, cross the aisles. Introduce yourself to somebody. Hi, my name is, and I'm getting everything that God has for me. Come on, cross the aisles. Get out your area. Go greet somebody that you've never seen before. Maybe you've seen them before, but you haven't seen them in a while. Come on, get out your aisle. Just tell them, hi, my name is, and I'm getting everything that God has for me. Everything, everything. God bless you, brother. Getting everything. God bless you, those who are watching online. I see you, Justin. God bless you, brother Justin, Terry, Brooklyn, the boss, Quanda, Ronette, Dana. God bless you, those who are watching with us. Emmanuel Hooks, I see you. Not leaving anything on the table. Those who are online, speak to us. Y'all are watching and worshiping with us. God bless you. God bless you. Officer Kenny, good to see you. Tanya, Dina, Shade, I see y'all are on YouTube and Facebook. God bless you. Listen, welcome to Resurrection Sunday 2024. Come on, y'all could do better than that. Welcome to Resurrection Sunday. Last time I checked, there were no, there was no Easter Bunny. There were no eggs, but there's a risen savior. So I say this again to you, happy resurrection Sunday. I see you, Tasha. Happy resurrection Sunday. If you're grateful that you serve a risen savior, don't play with it, but make some noise in this building. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody one time just say, he is risen. He is risen. And because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all doubts and fears are gone. Because I know who holds my future in life. Just because he lives. I said he lives, he lives, he lives. He lives, he lives. Yeah, yeah, my, my, my. And I came to prophesy to a couple of people. You've been walking, you've been the walking dead, but God says you about to live. Yes, Lord. I 
I wish somebody would go on go off and praise God. You don't need a reason for me, but just give him glory because he's worthy. Because he died for you. Because he rose for you. I wish somebody, that's enough reason. That's enough reason. Just because he's worthy. Just because he's worthy. Just because he's worthy, I lift you. Just because he's worthy, I bless you. Just because he's worthy, I honor him. Can you just grab your neighbor and say, just because he's worthy. Come on, just because he's worthy, I praise him. Just because he's worthy. I don't need emotions. Just because he's worthy. Just because he's worthy. Come on, clap your hands. Put your hands on it. Come on, y'all staring. I said put your hands on it. Come on. Come on. Some of you have been sick. Some of you, Emma, some of you have been under affliction. But the blood of Jesus. Some of you have been through some car accidents. But the blood of Jesus. Some of you have been in places you had no business being in. But the blood of Jesus. Come on, give him glory. Give him uh, my, 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 say. Give him glory. Come on, somebody help Mother Arnise. She couldn't make it to church these last two weeks. But she's here to give him praise. Somebody give him glory. Give him glory. Because only God could do it. Come on, come on. Everybody give him glory. Come on, clap your hands. Give him glory. Give him honor. Give him praise. He's worthy. Come on, y'all. It's to his name. Hey, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Come on, put your hands on it. Hey. Some of you wonder why I'll be praising them like this. Did I get a new house? No. Did I get a new car? No. But the blood of Jesus saved my life. The blood of Jesus covers my life. That's why I praise him. That's why I worship him. Because I got another chance. Because I have another chance. I need everybody to put your hands on it. Come on, put your hands on it. Come on. Put your hands on it, church. Put your hands on it, because only Jesus. All the one, only God can do it. 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 Only I can do it. Only God can do it. Only God can do it. Only God can do it. Only He can heal. Only He can save. Only He can deliver. 
Only God can do it. Do 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 it. Do 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 it. Do 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 it. Do 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 it. Do it. Do it in my family. Do it in my home. Do it in my family. Do it in my money. Only God can do it. Only God can do it. Only God can do it. Everybody give Him glory. God's gonna do it. God's gonna do it. As a matter of fact, it's already been done. It's, I put the praise on it because it's already done. It's so, I said it's already done. You already been approved. You already been approved. You already been approved. You already been approved. <laughs> you already been approved. Don't wait till the battle is over, but shout now. Hey. Oh. <laughs> It's already done. It's already done. Elder friend, it's already done. This church, already done. Mother Zidler, it's already done. This building, this church, this ministry, the finances, it's already done. In my marriage, it's already done. In my church, at IIM, it's already done. I I am, it's already done. It's already done. It's Fresh wind, fresh fire. Yeah, I heard something. I heard something so clear. There's a release today for those specifically who are in school. Those who are in school, whether it be paying, thinking about going to school or in school, I promise you, I promise you, I don't do this unless the Lord says. There's a release for finance. There's a release for some of you who are trying to struggle to complete. The Spirit of the Lord says there's a grace for you in this atmosphere. But all you gotta do is praise Him because God's gonna open a door. Go and praise Him if you believe it. Come on, give Him glory. You're gonna complete with flying colors. You're gonna graduate with flying colors. The finances are coming. The finances are coming. The finances are coming. Yes, Lord. Hey, hey, praise him, praise him, praise him. Hey, glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Come on at home. You ought to get up and give him glory. Hey, hey. Come on. Hey, yes, Jesus, release, Lord, release, Lord, release, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, release, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Somebody help a praise him. Hallelujah. There's a relief. There's a relief. There's a relief. Yes, Lord. Yes, 
Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, declare it. Yes, Lord. Everybody lift your voice. Yes, Lord. What God has for you, declare. Come on. Lift it up. Yes, Lord. It's mine. It's mine. Yes, Lord. Open up your mouth and clap. Everybody declare it. Open up your mouth and say it. My children are saved. My body is healed. Blessings all around me. Increase in my hands. I'm an overcomer. Mind and body healed. Come on, right here. Yes, Lord. Now give him glory. I said give him glory. Give him glory. Yes, Lord. 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 I've got assurance that he's working everything out in my favor. Paul declares in Romans 8 and 28, and we know that all things work together for the good of them who love him. We're going to try this again. Welcome to IIM <laughs> Resurrection Sunday. We're so grateful that you have chosen to worship the Lord with us today. This is the place where the Spirit of the Lord moves and the Spirit of the Lord dwells. And we make no apologies for the moving of God's Spirit. Because it is the anointing, really and truly, that destroys the yoke. What is a yoke? A yoke is something that binds you. So it is the anointing that frees you. And so when we praise God, hear me, people of God, when we praise Him, it is not just emotionalism. But ask Paul and Silas when they were locked in jail, when they sang and they praised the Lord, suddenly their chains were loosed. So when you praise God, some of y'all have been going to therapy for years and trying to figure out why you haven't had a release. Therapy helps you to process, but the anointing helps to break it. I said therapy helps you to process, but the anointing helps to break it. I love my therapist. She's great, but she can't destroy any yokes. It is the anointing of the Holy Spirit that destroys every yoke. Listen, if you're happy to be here, just put your hands together and give God praise. So grateful for his spirit. Listen, can y'all thank God for Pastor TN, our executive pastor? Come on, you can do better than that. Let's thank God. Let's thank God for all of our ministry gifts, our ministry leaders. Let's thank God for them overseer, Alexis Williams, Elder Fran, Deacon Balance, Missionary Michelle and Sabita. God bless you, woman of God. Thank God for Pastor Spence and Pastor Jalisa and all, Maryland, can y'all stand up and just wave at us? They drove from Maryland today to worship with us. Come on, I, I am God. If you are visiting us for the first, second, or the third time, first, second, or the third time, can you just stand to your feet? We're not going to make you come up, but can you just stand to your feet? Can we thank God for our guest today? Come on, I, I am. God bless you. Those who are worshiping with us from near and far. Listen, we're so godly, grateful. One of the things that we consistently pray for in our house is that the, God doesn't just fill our house with people, but he fills his house with his glory. Because you can have a church full of dry bones. I've seen it. I've seen churches packed and dry. But we thank God that this is the place where the spirit of the Lord dwells. How many people are grateful that where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty 
and freedom. God bless all those who are watching with us online. God bless you. Facebook, some people are like, I'm dancing, I'm praising God in my house. Let me tell you, let your living room be your, your sanctuary. Let your kitchen be your sanctuary as you give God glory in Jesus' name. Pastor T, God bless you. you <laughs> Doesn't my wife look beautiful? We, we're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Y'all pray for us. The clock is ticking. Come on, let's move. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And we're so grateful. Listen, a couple of the things that we want to make you aware of. Um, so grateful. If you're watching online, like, ta like tag, and comment, and share. Um, we are online. Online. And so those of you who are watching us all around the world, we got, we're grateful for you. Um, and we're thankful that you uh, have decided to worship with us online. Amen. 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 God bless you all. We are so excited that you are fellowshipping with us. And we pray that you continue in the fellowship with us. So with that said, we also um, have, well, for our announcements, we have our tribe groups that have been launched last week. Come on, make some noise. There is a group for every person, men, women, young adults, entrepreneurs, singles, forever young, seniors. <laughs> Come on, y'all let the, uh, the forever young make more noise than y'all. I love it, I love it. And so we want to invite you, members, non-members, if you're visiting, you wanna join in. We believe in the power of community. We believe in um, impacting one another through our experiences, through our faith, and most of all, journeying together that you know that you're not alone in this. And so we are meeting. It's a 12-week uh, session, se sessions for 12 weeks, and uh, we meet every other week. So the next session is coming up and uh, next week right next week so we hope that you will f um, sign up if you are looking to join one of those groups feel free to see brother Desmond and he'll be in the back so you can sign up uh, for one of these tribe groups and join into the community we cannot do this alone we need one another and so we want to continue in that um, be mindful of Bible empowerment which is Wednesday, April 3rd. That's online. Um, every third Wednesday is in the house. Somebody say in the house. All right, so we want to make sure that you join us for Bible empowerment, uh, where we will get fed in the word. And uh, also that morning, 6 a.m., every 6 a.m. Wednesday, every Wednesday, 6 a.m., we have prayer. How many believe in the power of prayer? And we command our bodies to get up it's not easy. You could be praying for, the, for all your life. It will never be that easy because the Bible says the flesh is a war against the spirit. But when you do, how many know when you find yourself on that prayer, that you know the presence of the Lord is there and he imparts to us for the next steps, the next direction, and it builds and grows grow us. So we want to um, make sure that you're on prayer. You, uh, we welcome everyone to be on prayer. And then first Saturday... We have our first Saturday prayers. Every first Saturday, we pray here in the house. Somebody say, in the house. <laughs> we will be here April 6th. So we welcome all of you to come out. We bombard heaven in this place. This is, this is what you see is an overflow of what we do in this house all the time. And so we flow with the spirit of the Lord. But we believe that um, prayer is important. We prioritize it. And it's important for this house. And we believe that every member and guest, feel free to come. And let's lift up um, our prayers unto the Lord. And then um, every first, um, every quarter, we do a 8 a.m. seek prayer that happens at 8 a.m. on a Sunday. Um, we're not going to be doing it in April, but we moved it to May. All right, so mark your calendars for May 5th. We will be coming in the house. We'll be praying at 8 a.m., and then it will flow into um, service. We'll have a small break, and it'll flow into service. So these are the announcements, and then we pray to see you uh, very soon. Amen. Listen, we're so grateful that the Lord is growing our ministry. 
And um, our, we, the Lord told us that this was going to be the year of expansion. So we want to thank God for all of our new partners. Come on, can you all clap your hands? Come on, Elder Fran. Come on, Brother Desmond. What we want to do is we're going to acknowledge all of our guests who, um, who have come from becoming guests to now they are partners of our ministry. And they have finished their new partners class and they are now rooted and grounded, ready to work in the kingdom. Um, I, I, am, I just need y'all to thank God for our new partners who have joined here. Can y'all clap your hands and thank God for them? And so listen, we're going to call their names so that they can come up and then we'll read one of them. So when we call you up, just come up and we're going to give you a certificate. Imani, we'll take pictures. Uh, we're going to ask that when we call your name to come up to the um, front behind yeah. us. Yeah. Um, and just line up behind us. So the first name is Michael King. Michael King. Mike King. All right. Sydney Terry. Come on, Sydney. Listen, we need y'all to make some noise. Not only come up this, not only because they're new ne members. Um, but it takes a process. You know, everybody doesn't just overnight. And sometimes they do. The Lord speaks and. He says, this is where you're supposed to be. But a lot of times people are, you know, assessing whether I should be here. They're prayerful about it. Then they have to go through, you know, the class and sessions and, you know, meet with pastor and acclimate themselves into the, it's not easy to just come into a new environment and making sure that you're accountable to these things. So when we call these names, we ask that you salute them because yeah. it takes the courage, it takes the faith. And it takes the boldness to make a change in one's life for the betterment of their soul. All right? Y'all with me? Yeah. All right. So let's call the next person. And we're going to honor them. We want to honor Paulette Wrighton Rivera. Yeah. yeah. I see Come you, on. brother. No, no, no. <laughs> Come on, husband. Wait. Y'all didn't, sure. <laughs> didn't see the... Come on. Y'all didn't see the husband in the back. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I love it. Come on. Support. All right. Naomi Guerrero. Yes. Alexis Mack in the building. Bring your babies. Bring Come the babies. On, Bring the babies. Huh? And the babies. She got twins, y'all. They are so adorable. So adorable. Come on. She coming with the kids too. Raise up a child. In the way. But they look beautiful. All right. We want to also thank God for Chad Cooper. Yeah. Chad. Chad has been here for a while, and now we see him, you know, spreading his wings, singing with the worship team. Come on, let's give God praise. So proud of him, man. So good. He said, I'm not only going to be a part, but I'm going to serve. And so we, we, do, we do encourage you, not only to be a member, but find your place where your roots can go deep and, and serve. You can sprout out. The next is Caleb Cooper. Come on. Yes, Caleb. Listen, Family is in the house. Listen, next month, next month, he's going to be speaking for our youth corner. Yes! So, y'all watch out. The month of April. I love it. And Mama's here to support. That's right. Song, sing, sing Songbird back there. Uh, we want to welcome Howard K. Cross. Yeah. Howard. You see him walking up here with that swag. I see you. Oh, you see that swag? <laughs> Howard. Go ahead, brother. Howard is faithful to this house, so we honor you. Thank you. All right, the next is Tiana Ratcliffe. Okay. 
All right. Last, last but not least, and he is back. Uh, there's been a... The, the yeah, this, this gentleman, the Lord has blessed him. He was with us for a while around the pandemic, and then we lost contact with him. We, For those of you who receive our messages, he picked up a phone one day that he got a new phone, and whoever had the phone before him was connected to our ministry. And when he received a message from us, he just said, I guess this is meant, for, meant to be. And he's been connected. He left for a while, but the Lord, again, through message, the Lord will send you a message. And he's back. And we're so grateful for what God is going to do in his life. Brother Olu, come on, y'all, celebrate him. Olu! Wait, I need the whole church to say Olu! Olu. Yeah! <laughs> Listen, Elder Friend is going to anoint each of you. Please, they're going to anoint each of you with the oil right there. They're going to just, if we could just uh, anoint Elder Friend, just anoint each one. And so, church, can you just rise and stretch your hands this way? We're going to pray. The parable of the sower tells us that some seeds were... When the sower sold some seeds, they went across the ground. And the sun scorched the seed. It's because they didn't know... Some people didn't know the word. The second group of seeds were sown, but they were sown in rocky ground. So when trials and tribulations hit their life, people walked away from the faith. Jesus tells us that the third part of seeds were sown amongst thorns. And because they were so consumed with the cares of life, they walked away from the faith. But the fourth group of seeds were sown in good ground. Somebody say good ground. Good ground. And they produced some 30, 60, some 100 fold. So as we stretch our hands this way, we pray for every seed that is sown. The seed, just bow your head. The seed is sown in good ground this missionary she can start anointing on this end and we thank you God that their faith will fail not Jesus said to Peter that the enemy desires to sift you as wheat but today your community your spiritual brothers and sisters we pray that your faith fail not ah yeah grow them Help them to experience their full purpose. Build up their prayer life, their hunger and thirst for the word. Make them disciples of men, not just members of churches. Uh, and we thank you, God, that the enemy can't have any seed that is here, but every seed that is sown. We thank you, God, that they shall produce good fruit. And we decree and declare growth, prosperity, increase, and that you'll grow them. In the ways of the Lord. Touch them, their family, and their children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on, give God praise for them. God bless you. God bless you. Brother Howard, can you help? Come on. Thank God. God is so good. Oh, we, oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. They're going to get a picture real quick. Let's do it real, real quick. Let me, let, let's do this. Everybody get a phone and stand to your feet. We're going to do this at one time. I need, this is Resurrection Sunday. Are y'all happy to be here? Some of y'all dressed in your best. Stand to your feet and grab a phone. And this, is what you want, this is what I want you to do. I need you to go to about three to four people and just take a selfie with them. Come on, stand to your feet. Smile and just take a picture with somebody and then post it. Make sure you tag us. Um, just take a minute. Just grab about three or four people to take a selfie today. Tag us at I, I am Church. Go to somebody you don't know. Show them all of your 32. If you don't have 32, show them what you have left. Come on, find you somebody, get your phone out, take a selfie with them, welcome them to service. Come on. Right. Yes, Lord. 
Overseer. Did y'all take a picture with somebody? Listen, we're gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna do the one. Listen, it is seed time and harvest. We're gonna do it real quick. Can y'all thank God for overseer as she coming at this time? Praise the Lord, everybody. Oh, praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Listen, this is a wonderful day that the Lord hath made. Amen. It's the day that the Lord has risen on today. Amen. Amen. I need everybody during this time. What I, Brother Corey, amen. What we want to do is take the children out right after this offering. But I'm asking everyone on this day that Christ has risen. Somebody just say he has risen. The ushers have envelopes. We want to give God a faith seat on today. Amen. We want to give God, say, God, you know what? You've been so good to me, so merciful. And we want to give God a good seat on today. Am I right about it? Amen. If we can invest in clothing and hats and suits, <laughs> how much more God? Amen. And we trust God. I'm asking everybody everybody and I want how many faith walkers are in the room just say I'm a faith walker and I believe God I need everybody who but who trust God with a hundred dollars stand to your feet that should be the whole house stand up baby thank you thank you I see you waving thank you Yanni I need others thank you I see you standing thank you I need some more thank you mother Williams I need others to stand that's behind me on the side of me. Thank you, Sister Marissa. Amen. Thank you, young lady in the back. I see you. Thank you. I need others to stand. Thank you, pastors. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you, pastor. I need everybody with 100. Just stand real quick and say, I believe God. Come on. I trust God. Come on. I trust God. I trust God. You've been good to me all this time. God, you open doors for me. I see you in the back. Thank you. I need others to stand and just say, thank you, baby. Amen. How many people, and I'm going to ask you this because I believe this is the year of expansion. How many did the Lord bless with a new job? Amen. With a new job. With a new job. Amen. And you know why? Because you've been believing God. You've been sowing. You've been giving because the Bible tells us to give and it shall be given back to us. And a lot of times we expect it just at the finances. But don't you know this is part of what God is doing? He gave you a new job. I believe you start next week and you just got a new. How many got new promotions? Amen. We, we say it every day. Checks in the mail. Promotion. So I need. I see you in the back. Others need to stand right now and just jump to your feet and say, God, you've been good to me. I see you. Thank you so much. Thank you, baby. I need others with a $50 seat to stand real quickly. Because you know what? If God has been doing great things, you say, God, I owe this to you. God, I, I, I owe you this. Amen. I see you, baby. Thank you. And I need others. Those who are watching with us, guess what? God is able to meet every one of your needs, even in your home. Amen. And we ask you to partner with us in giving. You can go to Cash App. Please go to dollar sign I I M Church. If you look at the bottom of your screen, you'll see it. And those are in the house. There are codes on the side where you can scan them. Scan the code right now. And we ask you to give. It takes you right to push pay. Amen. Please give right now. And then the ushers will be collecting in house. Amen. Amen, someone. I want others to stand. Come on, just get to your feet and give your offering. Everyone is standing in the house. That means everyone is honoring God with our gifts. Come on, let's honor God. Let's honor God with our gifts. Come on, he gave his only begotten son. So everyone is standing. For Jesus, you know, he gave his life and today he rose from the dead. So even the children are given on today. Amen. And lift your offering unto the Lord. Father, we thank you for this day, this Resurrection Sunday. Father, you gave your life and today you rose just for us. And Father, we thank you because you rose with all power in your hands. And God, you utilized the power that you had to bring healing to us, to bring deliverance to us. 
oh God, to open doors. God, you gave us new jobs. You gave us promotions. God, you gave us checks in the mail. And we're so grateful. God, you gave us resources. Hallelujah, God, you added on to the kingdom. Hallelujah, and we thank you. God, as we give our faith seat on today, you said, ask, and it shall be given. And on today, we don't doubt your word, but we walk by faith and not by sight. Bless your people. I speak abundance right now in their life. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Come on, everybody, raise your voice and just say, I believe God. Come on and watch God work. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. All right, our I I M choir, can we make our way up here? Come on, I I M choir, 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 choir. Come on, choir, choir. Oh. I call you holy. Your name is holy, you are so holy to me. I call you holy, your name is holy. Holy you are and holy you be. the Lord is anybody grateful for the ultimate sacrifice of Jesus Christ hallelujah is anybody grateful that you were worth saving that God saw fit to save you in spite of your flaws and in spite of your issues can you just lift up your hands and say God saw fit to save me can you say that hallelujah
hallelujah can you praise the lord because you were worth saving can you praise the lord because you were worth keeping can you save the lord because you were worth dying for can you praise the lord can you open up your mouth can you lift your hands can you stand up on your feet because it was his grace and his mercy it was the ultimate sacrifice of jesus christ can you wave your hands and say i was worth it i was worth it i was worth it he saw my needs and he saw me can you lift your hands and say i was worth dying for hallelujah come on choir hallelujah glory to the king of kings glory to the name of jesus hallelujah everybody get your bibles and stand to your feet it's time for the word of the lord when heaven and earth shall pass away my word shall stand for ever how many people need a word i need a word a word to sustain a word to lift a word of assurance a word of clarity as you're standing again for those of you who are with us worshiping with us god bless you if you can do me a favor turn to the book of john the book of saint john the book of saint john the gospel of john we're going to chapter 11 gospel of saint john Lord gave me something for, for all of us today to take with us. John chapter 11, starting at verse 32. This is what we're going to do. We're going to read verses 32 to 43, and then we're going to go back up to verse 11. When you have the word, say, I have the word. Deacon Balance, pass me my phone right there. I have the word. I'll be reading from the New King James Version. If you don't have a Bible, get an app. Get, type it in on Google. Get a Bible. Amen. The word of the Lord reads, Then when Mary came where Jesus was and saw him, she fell down, her, fell down at his feet, saying to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. He basically said, Jesus, where were you? Therefore, when Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who came with her weeping, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled. And he said, where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. What does verse 35 say? Jesus wept. Then the Jews said, see how he loved him? They were judging Jesus. Some of them said, could not this man who opened up the eyes of the blind, if he's really the Savior, why couldn't he have kept this man from dying? Verse 38, then Jesus again groaning in himself came to the tomb. It was a cave and a stone laid against it. Jesus said, take away the stone. Martha, the sister of him who was dead, said to him, Lord, he'd been gone four days. By this time, there is a stench. Smelly. For he has been dead. How many days? Jesus said to her, did not I say to you that if you had not believed, if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? Then they took the stone from the place where he was dead. Where the dead man was lying. Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. Oh, la, 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 man, do, ko, shia. And I know that you always hear me. Somebody say, God always hears me. But because of the police people who are standing by, I say this, that they may believe that you are one who sent me. Now, when he said these things, he cried aloud with a voice saying, Lazarus, come forth. Go back up to verse 11. Verse 11, verse 11, verse 11, John 11 and 11. You can start the clock. The scripture says that these things he said, and after that he said to them, 
our friend Lazarus is sleeping but I go that I may wake him up <laughs> if you give me a couple of minutes I'll be preaching to you from the subject somebody wake me up spirit of the living God we thank you for your word that's powerful we thank you God for the ears and the eyes who have come to receive and digest your word spirit of the living God we can't do anything without you so we need your anointing we need your power your grace the power to deliver your word touch yeah Holy Spirit come let someone who is sleeping be woken up touch your man servant give me strength to deliver what you have given me to give to your people and you get all the glory in Jesus name we pray amen just look at your neighbor and say somebody wake me up. take your seats in the name of Jesus <laughs> this is resurrection Sunday The world calls it Easter. Biden yesterday called it something else. But we glamorize these holidays and we dress our best. I appreciate everybody who came with your best looking great today. But we glamorize and polish this experience, which when you study historically, Resurrection Sunday is the culmination of one of the most gruesome occurrences in human history. What we are actually celebrating is a moment of suffering. Because there is no resurrection without a death. Quran, there is no death without suffering. And there's something about Jesus, what I love about him when I read his word, when I study this word, Jesus never ran from suffering. He understood that his mission wasn't just to heal, but his mission was to suffer. He didn't avoid suffering. He, was, he suffered physically. He suffered emotionally. He suffered spiritually. As a matter of fact, Isaiah 53 and 3 proclaims that he is the suffering servant. The Bible says he's despised and rejected of man, a man of sorrows, and he is acquainted. Grief is his cousin. But the verse, next verse, verse 4 goes on to say, Surely he has borne our griefs and carried away our sorrows, which means that he not only embraces his own suffering, but he embraces your suffering as well. I just need somebody to lift your hands and say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And Jesus himself is qualified, only qualified to take your sins and to take your griefs. He's only qualified to die for something that he's endured himself. And if Jesus endured suffering, what makes you think that you won't endure suffering as well? I don't know what fairy tale they have told you or what story or narrative they've presented you, but the life of the servant of God, the life of one who is saved, is one who must suffer persecution. I don't care how dressed up you are, you still suffer. I don't care what job you have, I don't care what career you have, you're still going to suffer. I don't care if you're saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost, you're going to suffer. I don't care if you're speaking in tongues, you'll still suffer. Giving tithes, but will still suffer. Anointed of God, have the grace of God, can lay hands on people, can raise the dead, can open up blinded eyes, but it doesn't exempt you from suffering. As a matter of fact, the anointing attracts suffering. That when you got the glory and the anointing on your life, there's something about it that gives God the uh, uh, that gives God the license to say, this brother can take more. This sister 
minister can take more because I cannot have you ministering to people if you haven't gone through some stuff yourself the anointing attracts suffering how do you know it, it, it attracts everything if you look at when it's dark outside and you put on a light in the country bugs start to come around light because it's attracted come on y'all the even bugs and those who are broken and bruised are attracted to the anointing so when you got the grace of God on your life you must suffer and today we are celebrating Jesus as being the resurrected king but before being the resurrected he needed to show himself as a resurrector I'm gonna say that again before being the resurrected he had to prove that he was the resurrector somebody just say somebody wake me up wake, wake, wake. When we come upon our text, which places us at the scene of suffering, there's a man named Lazarus. And this situation hits close to home because this isn't just Jesus ministering to somebody he doesn't know. But he has come upon a person who he was friends with. He was friends with Martha. He was friends with Mary. He was friends with their brother Lazarus. And if you understand the economy back then and the, the day of time, women could not earn a living on their own. So, they, so Lazarus wasn't just their brother. They weren't just losing their brother, but they were losing their provider. They were losing their benefactor. And the Bible tells us that in the beginning of the text, if you were to study, Brother Daniel, uh, 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 John chapter 11, in the beginning... He's not dead. He's only sick. The Bible tells us that in the beginning of the chapter, they begin to tell Jesus, hey, Jesus, we need you to come. We need you to come to Bethany. I know you're in Jerusalem, but I need you to come to Bethany because our brother is sick. It, it doesn't look good. I, 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 and, and the thing, oh, yes, Lord, the thing about Jesus, the Bible tells us that he was anointed. He was graced. He had the ability to, to do so many things. But in Jesus' human form, he was limited. How was he limited? He was limited because if people needed healing somewhere, yes, Lord, they had to wait for him to get there. But how many people know that we have the Holy Ghost? <laughs> The Holy Ghost is here. There's no limitation. The Holy Ghost can heal in Brooklyn at the same time he can heal in the Bronx. He can heal. Come on. He can heal your body in the hospital. He can go to Japan and heal over there. He can heal in Japan and he can go to Africa and heal all at the same time. How many people are grateful that the power of the Holy Ghost has no limits? No limits. Huh? <laughs> So Jesus knows that his friend is sick, but this is what Jesus does. He intentionally delays his coming. How cruel. <laughs> How cruel of Jesus to know that his friend is dying. He intentionally knows that he's dying, but he waits. He waits. The Bible tells, him, tells us that by the time Jesus gets there, Brother how he's dead. He's not sick no more. He's gone. Not only gone for one day, but he's gone four days. And if you know anything about the body, after a while, the body begins to... There's no coming back now. They had prepared the body. They had wrapped the body. They had put the herbs on the body. The body was dead. And starting to rot. <laughs> and when he gets to the scene, he sees everybody crying. He sees Martha crying. He sees Mary crying. And then y'all know, when you see everybody crying, what happens to you? Some of y'all didn't know, you didn't even know the person. You just see everybody crying. You like, he was just such a good person. You didn't know him. You just... But the thing was, this wasn't a random person that died. This was his friend. But if Jesus had the power to raise him up, why would he cry? Why would he be weeping? Because there is something about Jesus that he is all man and all God all at the same time. 
How can the miracle working, soul saving, water walking, demon casting, parable teaching, Jesus the Christ be gripped with human emotions and weep because he is God and man. Somebody say he's the God man. He's the He's the God man. If you were to study, I don't got time to explain it, but there is a theological term called the hypostatic or the hypostatic union, which means that Jesus is God, uh, the, the, the son, and he is man all at the same time. Some of us think that Jesus is a little 50% human and a 50% God. No, but he's 100%. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to put a percentage on it. He's all man and he's all God all at the same time. Jesus took on human nature yet remained fully God all at the same time. The addition of the human nature is adding to the divine nature which causes us to produce something named Jesus. Somebody say the God man, the God man. Jesus is fully God and fully man all at the same time. Jesus is humanity and divinity. They are not mixed but they are distinguished. They are united without the loss of separate identity. Jesus is the God man in every aspect of his life. Jesus is the God man. Jesus was man enough to attend a wedding with a refreshment were all gone but he was God enough to turn the water into wine Jesus was man enough to fall asleep at the bottom of the ship when the winds and the waves were going crazy but he was God enough to wake up and say peace be spilled I don't have a church Jesus was man enough to be thirsty on the cross and say I thirst but he was God enough to fulfill his assignment Jesus was man enough to have compassion and cry for Lazarus but he was God enough to raise him from the dead Jesus is is the God man he feels your emotions he feels your pain he feels your griefs he feels your stresses he sees that divorce that you went through and he empathizes with you he sees that breakup that you went through and he empathizes with you he cries when you cry he mourns when you mourn yeah but he goes through when you go through for the blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted it's something about Jesus that will feel your pain that will feel your emotions he knows who did that bad against you he knows who scandalized your name he knows the hardship that you're dealing with in your marriage but he's still God enough to say yet yeah, about though I empathize with you I'm not gonna let you stay there long but I'm gonna wake up some things in you I know that some things have died a long time ago I'm crying with you now but you can't cry a long time I, I know you're weeping now but weeping may endure I feel my help but joy comes in the morning Jesus came to tell somebody today it's time to wake up it's time to wake up I need you to grab somebody around you look at them in the eye and say wake up wake up wake up wake up he's the God man he's the God man it's hard to empathize without you having experience. I'm grateful for people who say, I'm sorry you lost this person. But it's hard for you, for me to receive it if you haven't been through it yourself. For all those pastors who are out there, it's hard to be a shepherd if you don't smell like the sheep. You can't be a shepherd and not smell like sheep. You can't be a shepherd and not be in the midst of your, your sheep. You can't be a shepherd and be on the throne, being driving Bentleys and everything, and your people are starving in the audience. You, you can't, yeah, but if you're called to this, you got to know. You got to, come on. If you're going to lead me, you got to feel with me. If you're going to lead me, you got to cry with me. If you got to lead me, you got to mourn with me. If you're going to lead me, you got to go through with me. So Jesus was Superman, but knew how it felt to be Clark Kent. He wasn't Clark Kent, but he knew how it felt to be. And so Jesus is in this scene. If I can just break this thing down. I got 20 minutes. What I love about Jesus, hear me, y'all. Some of y'all fanning in here. It's hot. Praise the Lord. It's sweaty good church. <laughs> too much of you having too too much cute church. No, some 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 you gotta. <laughs> Just fan your neighbor and say we in this together. We in this together. <laughs> I say this because the the ministry of Jesus is not pretty. 
But miracles are messy. Somebody say miracles are messy. As a matter of fact, deliverance is dirty. Salvation is smelly. The Bible tells <laughs> thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Miracle, somebody say miracles are messy. Y'all ever heard of a story with a woman with the issue of blood? That was a messy situation. Women, any female in here knows exactly what I'm talking about. The woman was running and messy for 12 long years. But Jesus doesn't mind coming in contact with them. I say he doesn't mind coming in contact. He's not intimidated by your mess. He's not intimidated, yeah, by your issues. He does, he's not intimidated by the fact that you got attitude problems. He's not intimidated by the fact that your, pa your past is a little messy. He's not intimidated by the fact that you got some skeletons in your closet. And when you open up the door, some bones keep... He's not intimidated by you. He's not intimidated by the mess that you've made. But he says, just reach out and touch me. And you shall be made whole. Deliverance is dirty. The story of Jesus going and seeing a man who was blind. Jesus takes him out of town. <laughs> on the outskirts of town, he takes dirt. He gets a good hawking. Yeah, uh -huh. Spits in the dirt. Oh, Jesus. Yuck. Uh -huh. Puts it on his eyes. Yeah. Almost like a bomb. Yeah. And the man is delivered from his blindness because deliverance is dirty. Deliverance will cause you to have to cry out some things. Come on that altar. I remember when they used to cast out demons at the altar. They used to be at the altar. It wasn't pretty. It was dirty. They had to have bags and cloths because there was something in you that needed to come out. And you can't have everybody around when deliverance is taking place. That's why Jesus had to take him to the outskirts of the town because he didn't need everybody to see. When you're going through deliverance, everybody can't be around you to see your deliverance. When, when, when everybody can't be around you to see when God is causing a breakthrough in your life. There are some times when Jesus is doing the dirty work, it's just you and him and an usher worker. It, 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 you have to wait after church. If you got to wait after church, if you have to wait till the, the singers leave and after everybody that prays and worship leave, and you just got to come to the altar and say, God, I got this addiction and I need you to release me. I got this, this drug addiction. I got this smoking habit. I got this issue with my drinking. I got this issue with my flesh that every time he calls my phone, every time she he calls my phone. I put some clothes on and run. God, I need you to take this thorn from my flesh. Deliverance is dirty. When they're doing heart surgery, they never leave you exposed. They don't do public heart surgeries, not often. But they keep you in a confined place because in order to deliver you, it's a dirty process. And salvation is smelly. The Bible tells us in our text today that Lazarus isn't dead one day, not two days, not three days, but four days. And the body is beginning to decompose. The body is breaking down. And when the body decomposes, it attracts worms and it attracts bugs. It attracts, attracts maggots, which is a sign of death. And all of us were sinking deep in sin. And we were attracting maggots. And we were attracting bugs. And we were attracting the wrong people because we were living any type of life. We were attracting whoremongers. And we were attracting drug dealers. And we were attracting vagabonds. And we were, when we were living, come on, some of y'all remember your life in sin when you were clubbing and you left home with some people because you were attracting some stench. You were attract, come on, can I preach today? I know y'all dressed up, but salvation ain't pretty, but sometimes there's something in you uh, that smells 
telling that's Roddy that people can see a mile away there you think that you're hiding from everybody but there's something on your life but when Jesus comes he comes to deliver you from the stench of sin he comes to deliver you he comes to raise you up he comes to wake you up somebody grab your neighbor and say wake me up wake me I just need somebody to give God a praise break for salvation that you're saved I'm not talking about a Bentley I'm not talking about Louis Vuitton I'm not talking about you got a new job I need somebody to put a praise on it because you got deliverance because you've been delivered because you've been set free because the way you used to think you don't think no more what you used to do you don't do no more the places you used to go when depression has you you'll be away yeah my name is Shay depression would have had you for a year the depression used to have you for six months but you've learned how to get a hit a tick and keep on ticking you take a lick and keep on ticking when depression hits you you bounce back when anxiety hits you you bounce back when uh, oppression hits you you bounce back when disappointment hits you you bounce back let the redeemed of the Lord uh, say so if he had delivered you out of the hands of your past of your flesh of the enemy open up your mouth and make noise in this place I'm saved, sanctified, delivered from myself. Wake up. 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 Tell your neighbor, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. There's too much happening and it's passing you by. Wake up. There's too much that you have to do, but you're still sleeping. Wake up. Depression had had you for a couple of years, but wake up. Drug abuse had had you for a couple of years. Wake up. Your ministry has been waiting to be picked up. Wake up. Yeah, your calling and your assignment is waiting for you to get over your attitude. Wake up. Your, your anointing and your purpose is waiting for you, yes, sir, to move past what did and who did what to you. Somebody shout, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. The Bible tells us that he is not dead. He's sleeping. Lazarus is not dead because he's only sleeping. How do you know that you have purpose on your life? The way that you know that you have purpose on your life is because you're alive. Because if you didn't have no purpose to serve, there'd be no reason for you to live. So when you see somebody expire and leave here, it's because their work is done. Or they didn't complete what they should have done and their time ran out. But somebody lift your hands and thank God that you've got that you still have time. That you <laughs> if you're not walking in it, you still have time. If you're not operating in it, you still have time. Yes, sir. Come on, thank him because you're alive, because there's more. You're alive. I know you're suffering right now, but there's more. Wake up. I know you're going through some pain right now, but wake up. I know that you're enduring some suffering right now, but wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Now, this is not written in the text, but I did a little research. I said, what is so special about this man that Jesus would raise? Number one, if you understand the celebration that we are embarking upon this week, we're celebrating that Jesus is the resurrected living Savior. And he says, I need to prepare you that I'm not just a healer. I'm not just a deliverer. I'm not just a savior. I'm not just a teacher. I'm not just a water worker. I'm not just those who can heal lepers. I'm not just one who can take a little boy's lunch and feed over 5,000 people. 
not including women and children. I'm not just one who can teach you and shift cultures. I'm not one who can just turn the heart of a rich man named Zacchaeus and to give to the poor. I'm not just one who can change systems, but I am the resurrection. I am the resurrection. I am. They thought that he would, when Jesus was saying this to Mary and Martha, they thought he was talking about the end time. He says, no, but now I'm the resurrector. He says, and whatever is dead in your life, I have the power to raise it up. The Bible says, I said, we're so special about Lazarus. I did some research. The Bible tells us that he died, but it doesn't give us what happens next. But history, historians have chronicalized the life of Lazarus, and they followed him. Some people say he went to Cyprus. Some people say he went to another land. But all have agreed that he became a bishop in the Lord's church. And he began to spread the gospel everywhere. And said, if Jesus can wake me up, then look what Jesus can do for you. Ah, And for some of us, God uses suffering and trauma to wake you up. For some of us, we're leaning on people. And then when God takes them away, we're forced to have to stand and walk out this thing on our own. I thank God for my grandmama, but my grandmama, she prayed, God, God bless her, but my grandmama can't help me walk into my purpose. I love my father who passed it before me. He set a great foundation, but he can't complete the work for me. But Jesus uses, God uses trauma, suffering to get you out your comfort zone. Uh, story goes that they only knew him as the savior they only knew him as a healer they underestimated the fact that he was a resurrector yeah. huh. so when suffering comes sometimes it forces you to step up and it forces everybody to mm, take the limits off of what God has placed in your life there's something that God has placed in your life. And I came to prophesy to somebody, you're living beneath your means. You're living under what God has given you. you you're not walking in there. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, Spences. You're not walking in what God has called you to walk into. There's more. Come on. I just need somebody who knows that. I, I know that I'm going through. I know, but I, I know this can't be it. I know there's got to be more. I'm living in this situation, but God's got to have more for me. I'm, I, 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 come on. I've been sowing and I've been praying and the God already showed me my future. So God, why doesn't my future future match up with my reality God says it's time to wake up it's time to put pen to paper it's time to wake up it's time to write the vision thank you Spencer and make it plain it's time to wake up it's time to start packing your bags it's time to start getting your boxes it's time to start applying to the jobs it's time to enroll back in school it's time yeah it's time to stop making excuses of why you can't but I can do all things through Christ I don't have a church I said all things all things all all things through Christ that should me. It's time to wake up to purpose. It's time to wake up to destiny. It's time to wake up to increase. It's time to wake up to abundance. It's time to wake up for more. It's time to wake up for ministry. It's time to wake up. Somebody shout, wake up, wake up, wake up. Because there's more. Can you just grab your neighbor and tell him there's more, there's more. Stand to your feet. This is what I want you to do. Daniel, give me some music. This is what I need you to do. The Lord told me to do this prophetically. He said, we're going to end this way. Jesus hmm, came and cried loud. And said, Lazarus, come forth. 
Martha was so busy. Jesus, if you had not been here, Jesus said, okay. I don't need you to speak, speak to the, from the framework of your current circumstance. I need you to speak what you want to see. Somebody say, I shall have what I say. I need you to do me a favor. I need you to grab one person. I just need to grab one person. But I just, this is what I need you to do. I need you to be prophetic about this. I need you to grab one person. This is what I'm going to tell you to do. The Lord told me to do this prophetically. Told me to do this prophetically. That you're going to pray specifically. I just need a certain sound. I need a certain sound. We need to pray for somebody prophetically. I need to find one person. If you don't believe that that person has, has faith, don't grab them. Find somebody else. That person just melancholy. Find somebody else. I don't, I don't mind you moving. It's all right. But the Lord told me that in this moment, it's a warfare. There's, 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 there's some people been warring, been fighting. But you have the responsibility this morning to bring them out. Tell your neighbor, wake up. Yes, Lord. I mean, find somebody. Find somebody. Find somebody. The Lord gave me the assignment today. That you ought to pray. Yes, Lord. Pray life to somebody who's going through. Grab somebody. And you're going to pray because there's something in them. Yeah. There's something in them that is dead that needs to be awakened. There's a dream that they're sitting on. Ah. And they're using, they're using shyness as an excuse. And it's really fear. Thank you, Brother Daniel. It's fear. But God said... That as you pray for that brother and you pray for that sister, that everything that is dead in them shall awaken. You have to say, Lazarus, come forth. Come on, you got to get spiritual. Get spiritual. And I count to three, go for broke. And I need you to pray with authority. Don't pray to their circumstance. Pray to what you believe God to do. One, two, three, go, go, go. Come on, you got to open your mouth. You got to open your mouth, Father. Da da ma dia. Here be ba na man toshia. Here be ko ma man da di ando di ande besia. Spirit of the living God. Ke shaya. Have your way, Jesus. Pastor Spence. Hala da ba na di shi. Pray. Hala ma dia da na ma. Come on, turn this mic on. We thank you, Father, for your divine hand that is moving in this moment. We thank you, Father, for what you are uprooting out of us. We thank you, Father, for uprooting the hidden thing that has kept us going like Israel in cycles. We thank you, Father, for uprooting the thing that causes us to go in turn, in cycle, on seeking after, oh God, only the desires of our flesh, and seeking after only the desires of our eyes, the, the lust of the eye and the pride of life. We thank you, Father, that you are uprooting those things in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name Christ. Of Jesus. And, and so, Father, now as you uproot, we thank you that you are filling us today, ever the more with the Holy Ghost. We thank you God as you cleanse us and God as on, you purify on, us and on. God as you sanctify you would fill us pray and fill us pray, some more. Pray, pray, fill pray. us God until demons back up. Fill us God until ways are made. Fill us God until clear sight is given. Fill us God until know God that you are with us. Father we thank you that the steps of the righteous are ordered by you. We thank you for ordered steps.
steps God we thank you for disrupting every plan of the enemy we thank you for stabilizing us we thank you for keeping us on our feet we give you praise God that you won't let us fall we give you praise God that you won't let us fail we give you praise God that our footing is short God that our footing is short I dare you to stomp your feet our footing is short come on I said stomp your feet our footing is short we think that our footing is short God in the name of the Lord Jesus we thank you father that you're raising us up God to be in conformed into the image of your son come on we thank you that you're raising us up God to be conformed into the image of your son you said you made us in your image and in your likeness and so father oh god put us on your wheel put us on the potter's wheel reshape us god mold us in your hands make us who you want us to be god make us who you want us to be god make us who you want us to be god make us who you want us to be god we are your people the sheep of your passion and here we are entering into your gates with thanks giving and into your court with praise we thank you because we believe you we thank you because we trust you we thank you because we know you're the wonder worker we thank you because we know you're the resurrected one we thank you because we know that you are God and you are shifting our lives you're shifting our income you're shifting our net worth you're shifting our network and we give you praise we give you praise for being the shifter we give you praise for being the shifter we give you praise for being the shifter we give you praise God for shifting us we thank you that you're not intimidated by what we struggle with we thank you that you're not intimidated by the things that frustrate us we thank you that you're not intimidated by our past we thank you that you're not intimidated but God you reign over us and you reign over sin and so what we cannot let go of you will uproot it come on what we cannot cast down you will uproot it and so father we give you praise for the uprooting now come on come on come on pray some of y'all got a little tired but come on pray pray in the name of Jesus come on in the name of Jesus come on in the name of Jesus I just need somebody there's a freedom that is in the room I just need somebody to lift up a worship and receive it now come on go go praise him worship him even online yes come on lift your hands and praise him yes Lord yay there's finish on your life there's purpose on your life that's greater for you yes Lord thank you Jesus Everybody lift your hands. Everybody lift your hands. Everybody lift your hands. I said everybody lift your hands. Everybody lift your hands to God. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. We receive God. Come on, lift your hands to God. We'll wake up to purpose. We'll wake up to destiny. Come on, lift your hands to God. We thank you. Whatever God wants to do in my family, whatever he wants to do through me, come on, tell him yes. Tell him yes. Some of y'all been holding back, but you know there's more that God wants to do in your life. Shaquana, come. Shaquana, come. There's more, there's more, there's more. There's more, there's more. 
need you. There's more. There's an anointing. There's a grace on her life. There's an anointing. There's a grace on her life. Yes, so the, there's a grace that God wants to impart it to her. There's another feeling. There is another feeling. But we pray right now. There's more. Caleb, come. I pray an anointing, a hunger. A hunger for the word, a hunger for prayer and his presence. I pray, God, that you are the God of his youth, that you begin to show him. You speak to him through dreams and visions. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus. Come on, mama. I pray that the glory of the Lord will be upon him. That the power, the undeniable glory of the Lord will be upon him. There's no, yeah, there's no happenstance that you placed him here because you're birthing a leader in him. He's finding his voice in this season. He's finding So God, don't, let this thing become real to him. Realer than it's ever been in his life. Yes, Lord, inhabit his dreams. Inhabit, yes, Lord, every part of him. But Holy Ghost power. Yes, fall fresh. Fresh fire. Commando. Fall fresh. Fresh glory. Fall fresh. From the front of his head uh, to the sole of his feet, we pray an anointing, we pray a grace for more. Give him revelation. And I pray right now the glory of the Lord. Olu, come. There's an anointing, there's a grace. Come on, just receive what God has for you pray right now lift your hands I pray that the glory and the grace of the Lord God said come out of hiding stop being uncertain come out of hiding I didn't save you to sit on the sideline but I saved you to do more come on just tell God yes Lord you know he's been calling you the Lord says this is the season to get out of trepidation you've been wrestling back and forth for far too long but there's a grace and there's a something that God has on you that's ready to be released for a generation. For a generation. There's some people who've been in the same circles you've been in and they're dying slowly. But you're around to tell them to wake up. So I pray that the boldness of the Holy Ghost. Come on, just tell God yes. Come on. I pray that the fire of God. The grace of the Lord will be upon him. I bind fear. I bind fear. I bind fear. I break it now. I break it now. I break guilt. And shame. For every struggle. But you're covered by the blood. Come forth, come forth, come forth, come forth. Grace. Come on, if you're in the house and you need us more, just lift your hands and give God praise. Come on, give him praise, give him glory. I just want to shake your hand.
us, Lord. Can you do me a favor? Just embrace that person you prayed with. Come on, just embrace that person that you prayed with. Come on, just embrace the person you prayed with. And just tell them there's more, there's more. Come on, just tell them there's more. Come on, embrace whether it's a handshake, whether it's a hug. Just tell them there's more, there's more. There's more. Listen, there's more, there's more. Caleb, there's more. Chad, there's more. Listen, if you do not know the Lord, hear me, hear me well. Thank you. If you do not know the Lord today as your personal Savior, when we say more, more, the prerequisite of obtaining more is relationship. I'm not talking about coming to church. Anybody can come to church come into a building, come among the people of God. But we're talking about having covenant and relationship. For some of you, you've been dating God, but God's saying it's time. You've been playing. Put a ring on it. You've been playing around. Covenant, relationship. Some of you, God is saying, I've been waiting. I've been knocking. I've been knocking. And you, <laughs> You've been like playing double dutch like God saying I'm here And I love you I'm not coming with judgment I'm coming with love and purpose But you have to take a step of faith If you know I'm speaking to you Come to this altar now Don't delay, don't second guess Come, come, come If that's you, come Come on as they're clapping Come on, he's coming back Come on Come on, they're, come on, they're coming Come on, y'all, they're coming. Clap. Praise God. Come on, if you, say, if you want to make the Lord your Lord and Savior, you want to make Jesus your Lord and Savior, come. Come, come. Come on. Maybe you know the Lord as your... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on, y'all. Come on, can y'all praise God? Let me tell you, I don't play around with these moments. If you are 99.9% .9 sure, that's not enough. If you're not 100% sure that if you close your eyes today and don't wake up, that you won't be with Christ Jesus, I'm speaking to you, come. I'm speaking to you, come. The Bible says, the day you hear my voice, I'm not scaring you. I'm imploring you to come. Your life depends on it. Your destiny depends on it. I don't care if you, how much you come to church, you sing, all of that stuff. It's about relationship. And it's about making him Lord. That means, God, I give you my life. If you haven't made that declaration, or maybe you did it one time, I'm not talking about you being baptized when you were three. I'm talking about... If you know I'm speaking to you, and in this adult life, you are not living according to God's will. Come, come, come. God says, I love you, and I've come to display my love. If that's you, come, come. Come on. Come, come. I'm going to give you 30 more seconds. Come, come, come. They're coming. Can y'all clap your hands? Come on. I said, clap your hands. Come on, y'all. Y'all. The angels in heaven are rejoicing. What about us on earth? Come on. There's still two more. I know that it is. I know that there's two more. But I'm not going to push you. You have to make up your mind. Second appeal. Maybe you're saved, but you don't have a church. And you're saying, I feel the pulling of the Lord. For those of you who say, Pastor, I still feel you calling me. If that's you, come now. And you're like, I need a covering. I need church. Come, 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 come. For those of you who are online, put that up on the screen. There's, you can text the word salvation to that number. You can text that word prayer to that number. But for some of you, you know I'm speaking to you. Come, come, come. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come. Ba 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 ma da. Hey, Pastor T, just just lay hands on Mother there, just just to minister to her. Those of you who are on this altar, you're here for a reason. God loves you, all of you. Touch yourself and say, God loves all of me. Your mistakes, your issues, your shortcomings. He's not intimidated. Miracles are messy. Deliverance is dirty. Salvation sometimes doesn't look pretty. But he says, come unto me and I'll give you rest. There's rest. Woo. Hiya. There's rest. Just lift your hands, man. Just lift your hands. There's rest. Just thank him for rest. Come on. Thank him. No wrestling. Come on. No wrestling. There's rest. Yeah. Oh, that that man do the and they they came down that man do yeah that man. I'm not intimidated by it. Come on, did it yeah that 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 man. Grace, grace, grace. The grace of God. The grace of God. God bless you, brother. God bless you. God bless you, my sister. Listen, while you're on this altar, it's, the prayer is confession and faith. The prayer is confession and faith. The Bible says, if you believe, hear me, that Christ died for you and rose on the third day, you will be saved. It's confession and belief that he died and he's died for you. But not only that, you're making the commitment today to make him Lord. To make him Lord. You ready? Let's bow your heads. Shut out the world. This is between you and God. And just repeat after me. Repeat after me. Those of you in the house, come on. Don't let them do this by themselves. But the Bible says confession and belief. So pray this prayer with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this opportunity to give my life to you. Thank you for not giving up on me. Thank you for not throwing me away. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. I've sinned. But God, I come to you. Because you're the only one that can wash me and cleanse me. So God, today, I come to you. I give myself to you and I make you Lord and Savior. I acknowledge that you died on the cross and you rose on the third day just for me. So today, because I confess and I believe, today I am saved. Today I am awoke awakened. Today I am set free. In Jesus' name, come on, give God praise. Come on, give God praise. Come on, give God praise. Ah, yeah, yeah, no, man. I pray now. I pray now. To call my day, Pastor, any Pastor Smith, call day, and that day, and there's more I know you prayed for him but there's more just minister to him the, day, the devil decides to sniff him as we to sift him as we but he won't walk away from God because God you won't give up on him and there's purpose destiny that's why he couldn't kill himself there's purpose and destiny that's why he couldn't throw in a towel there's purpose and destiny I pray right now I come against suicidal thoughts I'm sorry y'all I know it's behind our time but I pray he who the son set free is free indeed 
and I decree and declare you will not die but you shall live I need a church to, to give God praise give him a shout in here hold up my come on i need y'all to give god a praise because you're rebuking death what the enemy meant for evil Come on, y'all thank God and give God praise for those who gave their life to the Lord today. Brother Dez, I need you to get the information of those and invest. Listen, I'm so grateful that the Lord is good and his mercy endureth forever. My sister here in the blue, the Lord told me to tell you that you're free that you're free. And I hear so clearly that as you draw closer to Christ, the hurt from the past, God's going to be able to heal it. And you're going to walk away with no residue from the past. Hey! I said you're going to walk away. You're going to what is you not You're going to look at yourself this time next year and remember where you were and what God has brought you through. In Jesus name. Just a yeah. One more person and then we got to go. Brother Tim, come. life because there's more I pray for a minister to one more person then we gotta move it's, our hours far spent we 36 minutes over time lift your hands brother I pray healing they said he had three seizures last week but we pray healing I'm gonna have Pastor Spence minister to you that God will bring a completeness a completion and a healing from seizures do you believe that God can heal you? He said, he is healing me. Come on, I said, he's, he said, God is healing me. But we pray right now, lift your hands. Listen, while they're praying, God loves you. His desire is not to harm you, but to give you a hope and to give you a future. In Jesus' name. As you stretch your hands this way, we pray against seizures, sickness. You're the God who heals, set free and deliver. In Jesus' name we pray. Give God praise all over the building. Sometimes you got to take time. You can't just rush everything. I'm sorry. But we thank God. More, more, more. Just say more, 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 more. I seal it in Jesus' name. The enemy can't take her. Can't have his way with her. He desires to sift you as wheat. But I pray that your faith fail not. I come against the cycles back and forth. Come on, tell God yes, Lord. Tell him yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Listen, give God praise for these souls. Hallelujah. Our hour is far spent. Listen, I'm so grateful. We're going to do one more thing, and I promise you we'll let you go. But our children are here, and we have our kingdom kids, and we celebrate them every week. And I'm so grateful that the Lord has positioned us to groom young people so that they don't just, you can bring them forward, Brother Corey, that they don't just color and draw, but the same, the same God that you hear about and that you learn of, they are learning about. The Bible says to raise up a child in the way that they should go. And when they get old, they will not depart. Come on, these are future doctors and lawyers and preachers and evangelists and singers and dancers and artists and contractors and teachers and therapists and future principals and future accountants and future CPAs. These are generational curse breakers. Come on, church. I said these are generational curse breakers. And so, Brother Corey, can we thank God for Brother Corey? Thank God for Sister Sally Ramos. Who's that? Sister Anna. Thank God for Sister Anna. All right, so we, we thank God for these, these amazing young children. Um, you know, I, I, I really, it, it does my heart well to, to be here every Sunday just to see them. I love them so much. And um, they, are, they are so smart. Here, go to your mommy. She, they, they are so smart. I mean, all you have to do is ask children questions and see where they are. And... and and their response will tell you so much, okay? So guys, what's today? How many days until what happened on Resurrection Sunday? God raised for our sins. Amen. Who else? Who else? Uh, Jesus died. He don't, he, uh, uh, I forgot. I forgot. Uh. He rose. Okay. Let me give it to Anna. Listen, right after this, parents, let's thank God for our kingdom kids. Oh, we could do better than that. They were awesome. And we want to say thank you to every teacher and to all of our parents. Can we celebrate our parents? Right after this, our teachers have um, Easter baskets for all of our children. Even how many minutes they remember the day when we were little? And we used to sing, we used to sing all them songs. Back in the day, Easter is a time for girls and boys to sing. All of, we had our little recitations. <laughs> Amen. We did a whole lot of things. But we are teaching our children not to just draw, as Pastor said, but we're getting the word of God in them. Amen. How many were blessed today from this service? How, ma how many were really blessed? Amen. Listen, I need everybody to stand. I need everybody to stand. Pastor brought such a powerful word, and he was talking about a lot of times we come in with burdens and we leave with them. Amen? But how many said we're not going to leave? 
we, we, we're not, we not going to just take our burdens to the Lord, but we're going to leave them with him. Amen? Amen. So what I want everybody to, if Marissa can give me my wallet, because this is what I believe in. The pastor preached this morning. I want everybody to lay a seed on this altar. Come on, lay a seed. I don't care what it is, $5, $2, $10, get a seed in your, in your hand. Amen. I'm getting my seed, and I want you to come and just say, I believe God for my family, and I believe God for my, and believe God for your miracle. Come on, lives were changed today. Come on, just lay it at the altar. This is a day that the Lord arose today on this day, so I lay my seed. Come on, I lay, if you don't have cash, you can scan the codes, bring your dollars, bring your change, whatever it is. Just get a seed, and thank you, Sister Deborah. Come on, there, you're coming. You're coming. I need you to move real quickly because we got to go. I see you scanning. Just put it under speaker's offering. Amen. But I need you to come real quickly. Thank you. Because we're believing God for our families, our children. Did you see these children here? Amen. We want to sow into the lives of our, even our children. Amen. I see the little babies all dressed up. Amen. We are sowing into the lives of our children, our family. Amen. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. We're coming because we're trusting God. I was looking at Mother Sister Jalen is the mother of the this young man who was who came up and gave the Lord his life. So we've been how many have been praying for your children and praying for the family? Amen. So we're believing God. The enemy would love to kill our kids, our kids. Amen. But the Bible says no weapon that is formed against us shall what? Shall prosper. Pastor T, you leaving? She's not leaving. She's going to come stand with me real quick. Amen. But listen, I need everybody. Thank you so much. We're so glad to have you, Pastor, all the way from Maryland, our, our friends and our family. We love you so much. So glad to have you. Amen. We love you. Amen. Listen, we're all leaving. May you have a blessed um, remaining day with your families, wherever you shall go on today. Our executive pastor is going to dismiss us. Doesn't she look cute? Yeah. I'm just so excited. A couple of more months, I'm going to be a grandma. And I'm excited. And we even pray strength and the blessings upon her as she continues to carry. That God will give her a healthy child. Even as she go into labor, that labor won't even be what some people, she could be like, I was only in labor for two hours. Amen. So we pray the strength of God. Let's receive our pastor. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, Alicia. Let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful. So grateful. Grateful, grateful, grateful. We thank you, Lord, for your presence today. We are believers in the one who died, who was buried, bruised, but rose again with all power in his hands. And because you live, we live. We decree life today. We thank you that you have come to wake us up out of some dead places. You said the enemy comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. But you came that we would have life and life more abundantly. So from this day forth, as we confess you, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ from Nazareth, we thank you and we decree and declare life that we shall live, that we shall bear fruit, that we shall be the men and women of God that you called us to be. And we thank, for, thank you for your covering. God, everything that you have deposited today, we receive it. Let it be seated in our hearts that we would not sin against you. We thank you, Holy Spirit of God, for bringing life out of us and the purpose and the destiny that you've called us to. As Pastor has said, because we're alive today, there is still purpose. So thank you for giving us time. Thank you for being merciful that we still have time to get it right and to do what you've called us to do we say yes lord yes lord and we thank you for these things may you keep us and protect us we come against every attack of the enemy every backlash we pray for pastor even now we ask god that you cover his body cover his mind cover his spirit lord continue to encourage him and continue to uplift him continue lord to show him lord god signs and wonders lord as he continues to submit his life to you and we thank you for for blessing 
helping him financially we thank you Lord God for every weight that he bears God that you would show your miraculous hand you are the God of provision we call you Jehovah Jireh and so we thank you that every need shall be met not only will it be met but you said that you would do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we ask or think so God every prayer that he's prayed God go above and beyond it every request that he's made go above and beyond it Lord blow his mind we thank you for the enlargement of territory for this is the year of expansion and even as you expand the man of God Lord you, we thank you that the oil flows from the top to the bottom and Lord even as you expand him expand his family expand the ministry God that we shall enlarge our, our territory shall be enlarged and we thank you and we praise you God bless every family member here and every person that's representing their families we thank you God that you allowing what you've given us to be sh to shine amongst those back in our homes at our jobs in our communities for you called us to be a light in a dark world and we accept the call we accept the responsibility and we trust God that you are a keeper that you are a protector that you are a deliverer and we will forever give your name the glory honor and praise today is a resurrection Sunday God and we will not be silent but we will praise you forever because you live we live and for that we give you the glory if you believe this prayer I need you to open up your mouth and give God your best praise before you leave this building somebody shout hallelujah hallelujah God bless you God bless you God bless you Wow, thank you for joining in our service today. It was so amazing. God moved like never before. I'm Brother Daniel. I'm Sister Samantha. And as Brother Daniel mentioned, thank you so much for our online family for being with us. We want to make sure you stay connected. So make sure you're on our social media sites. So please make sure you like, you comment, you share, as well as tag a few people so they can receive the great word that IIM is doing. We also have our YouTube channel. So please make sure you subscribe and you click that notification notification button right here so you can be notified of all the great things that we're also doing as we're streaming online and inside of our communities. Make sure you go to our church website, iimchurch.com, iimchurch.com. Thank you for joining with us today. Yes. We can't wait to see you again. Yes. And as our pastor always says, watch, watch God, God work. work.